Hello YouTube. Wanted to do a quick review of this Hemiway Big Dog. Uh, it's a brand new bike for 2022 for Hemiway. I am fairly new to, or brand new really to e-bikes. And I wanted to show a couple of things on this bike and just talk through a couple of things um, that I think are a little different than, than probably what you're seeing out there so far. It hadn't been too many reviews that I've found, so I figured I would add my two cents to it, and hopefully you'll find this valuable. So this bike uh, has a 400 pound weight rating, and I picked it up for the purpose of weight loss. Uh, full disclosure, I'm about 345 now. I've lost 10 pounds so far with the combination of using this e-bike and walking uh, very hilly terrain with anywhere from 500 to 1,000 feet of elevation gains, according to the Fitbit. Uh, but this is the only bike in the that I could find in a in a decent class. But the challenge was is I'm 6'3", and this bike says it's rated for someone who's up to six foot one. Um, so. To make it work for me, I did a couple of things to to make it a little more functional. Um, the first thing is that I'll tell you is that the seat that this thing comes with uh, is junk. Um, it is hard and it's wide, so it's not like a racing seat that's real narrow and hits your butt your your butt bones on the exact point that you want them to if you're racing. It's actually wide, so you're. It's like trying to sit on a, a two by four, while you're driving over gravel road. It's just. It's incredibly painful, uh, if you're doing any sort of using this for anything like country driving, um, which is where I am. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere, and uh, so I needed this for that purpose. Um, the other thing I'll tell you before I move to the front is uh, the standard pannier bag is too narrow for these bike racks. And um, so you have to get creative with it or you got to get one that's got a wide stance on the top or on the front. Uh, I think even the Rock Brothers one is a, is a really snug fit just because of the width of that back rack. Uh, I put the Tannis tire inserts into the bike, into the tires, uh, to add some puncture resistance. I do like the tires, but given that I'm running this around on gravel roads, it's a, it's, I believe a 80 or 90 pound bike, 80 pound bike. And, uh, I run the risk of popping tires on a regular basis. I didn't want to count on just the quality or the the newness of the tires, so I put the Tannis tire inserts. That was a, a valid investment. I'm glad that I did it because I have a lot more, I feel a lot better about it being on, on the roads that I have to ride on. Um, don't really have a lot of paved road around me to work with. Uh, the other thing is I put one of these bike or uh, bottle cages on it. Um, this one in particular is specific so that I can run a full-size Nalgene on your typical water bottle racks like these up here. You can't really do that. Uh, they're, they're too narrow for a Nalgene, so I wanted something bigger. This has straps that I keep in the, the trunk bag on the back. Um, so there's that. And then the other thing I'll tell you is that you know, if you're 6'3", like me, the the thing that about me is that uh, my my torso is longer than my legs. So my legs, the stature of my legs, I look a little awkward, of course, but my legs are not as long as my upper torso is. So um, while the seat height to the pedals is fine, the stem on the handlebars was not. So I went on a hunt for a, a stem extension that was also... You know, would allow me to get an angle on it to push it a little further forward because I got really long arms. And I found this one from Satori. Um, this one is specifically e-bike rated. So that's the first, that's the next thing I'll tell you is if a lot of people you'll see online putting 
stem extensions on these e-bikes um but they're just cheap cheap aluminum and i would encourage you to stay away from that invest it's twice as much and we're talking 15 dollars versus 30 or 40 dollars but get one of the good ones that is actually rated for an e-bike that'd be the next recommendation i'd make um the other thing that i put on here is this um bar extension here now this is not so i can run more goofy electronics i'm already adding too much weight to the bike itself with my own weight but i added this on here so i can run a front a front bag down below it because uh, i eventually want to use this bike to go bike camping i have a, a burly flatbed trailer that i bought for it so i intend to use that and this will make it possible last thing i want to cover on this thing, well, the last two things is um, you can get this bracket right here and these bottle carriers that'll put allow you to put uh, put it on the front basket. Now the Hemingway Big Dog is different than the Escape, I believe, as well as like the Cruiser. The spacing on this is wider. That's why if you go to Hemingway's website, the front basket they advertise, they do not say it is for the Big Dog. And I think that's because the spacing here between these top screws and these bottom screws. So that's the next thing to pay attention to. Um, if you're gonna do this, just recognize that it's only gonna mount on either the bottom or the top. I chose to put it on the bottom to lower the bottles down further away from the handlebars. But I also had to use, the other thing that this extension served for me was uh, basically gave me the ability to put the rack on and be able to access the water bottles at the same time while I'm riding. Uh, the last thing I'll tell you about this that I have already had to do is in order to put a, a proper extension on this to make the stem extension to make it work for me, these cables, uh, were, were a challenge and had to be rerouted or, you know, reorganized a little bit. Um, that involved taking all of the pieces basically off the handlebars and, um, then you know redoing the wiring because the way they're they're configured and tangled they're all they're all twisted around as if they're supposed to be their own tie strap and i don't like that of course so i i took them all out i organized them in straight lines and then uh just used better uh velcro straps to tie them together um, the, the next thing is that when you get a, when you get a Hemingway big dog, the front brake cable, uh, that comes off of here winds around and they actually tightly wrap it around the lower stem, which is just stupid. And I don't know why they do this, but they take all the slack out of this and by wrapping this front cable around, around the stem and it, it actually is just way too tight and causes a lot of problems. So my answer to that was to uh, get on Amazon and pick up a brake cable kit for um, like 15 bucks. That's all it was. And that gave me the ability to uh, redo the front brake cable and add length to it so that I could put the, the stem extension on and be able to, to manage the cables the way I wanted to. And I have full range of motion with, even with the bottles on there, but just so you can see, there's plenty of slack for, for turning. And uh, this thing is, you know, very efficient. Um, there's several videos online, so I don't need to do it here for like changing the computer settings on this thing. Hemingway didn't change any of that. It is a different motor, a better brushless motor. I think it actually has a 960 peak instead of a 750. Uh, or 980 something like that so it's it's more powerful which for me is good because i'm a bigger rider trying to lose the weight but still a bigger rider and uh you know so it's got a better motor on it but the settings are are exactly the same so you can tweak this to be whatever you need it to be just you know do a search on youtube for adjusting the the speed settings and the throttle settings and whatnot for Hemiway and you'll find it there's only a handful of them and they're all really good. Bolton e-bikes has a really good couple of videos on these on, on some of the, 
some interesting things about e-bikes in general that I really liked. Um, also, because of my size, I didn't want a bike that was uh, spoked wheels. I wanted mag wheels just because in the past I've had much better success with mag wheels or, you know, solid wheels, solid rims than, than spoked rims. Um, as I drop weight, it may be possible to, to get into some of that, but, you know, for the here and now it is what it is. Uh, the only other thing I've done to it so far is I put a little bike lock on the back here. Um, that was a, you know, Am uh, Hemingway sells those, but they are, they mark them up just like everything else. And Amazon has them cheaper. And since I'm on a budget and I didn't buy this to go broke and buy all Hemingway stuff, I went to Amazon and got it. Um... The last change, the planned one, is this is a 48 tooth or 40, yeah, 48 tooth chain ring. And regardless of whether I've modified the settings or not, uh, you run out of gear, run out of, you end up ghost pedaling at about 14 miles an hour. So some of the hills that I have immediately around me, bike easily gets up to 20 to 25 miles an hour on the downhill. And I don't want to ghost pedal in that. So I'm starting with changing this out to a 52 tooth chain ring that'll be an easy swap parts will be here in a day or two and then eventually i'm probably going to end up swapping um the back freewheel as well to one that has a uh, higher gearing without losing losing the lowest gearing too or reverse that yeah so anyway i hope this is beneficial there aren't a lot of a lot of videos on this bike out yet and i wanted to just do a quick review in case it was uh helpful to some folks hope everybody has a great evening and talk to you later bye